Well, it wasn't 4-0 this time, but another solid performance from Manchester United. Uh, I wasn't worried throughout the game. Like I tweeted out at half-time, it was 0-0, and uh, some fans were getting restless, but the amount of chances we were creating, and yes, we did that last season, we couldn't capitalise, but I just felt there was something about us in this game that was different from last season and that we go on and score and that's exactly what happened um yeah obviously the the main bad point for us is that uh, Lukaku missed a penalty but you know he, he was still a handful like this was a poor game by his standards but he still had a fair few chances uh, Harry Maguire did very well though uh, man marking him for the entire game but he still was a handful and uh, it's nice to see that we can win without our striker scoring um, you know, our substitutes this season have scored four out of the ten goals for us, so that's 40%. And, um, yeah, it's just been terrific. Like, I've got to say, honestly, Phil Jones, he, he's been phenomenal so far. And I said this last season, he started off really well, but then he got an injury. If he, if he can stay fit, that partnership of Bay Jones is phenomenal. Three clean sheets already. Uh, the midfield partnership of Matt, uh, uh, Matic and uh, Pogba fantastic they complement each other well when we play against the big sides Herrera will probably slot in there our player of the month from last season who hasn't even had a minute of Premier League football yet I don't think um, that tells you everything like, about how well we are playing that our player of the month last year uh, player of the year voted for by the fans and players I think uh, yeah like he hasn't even had a minute of football yet but he'll be important in the big games uh, the front four doing really really well creating loads of chances uh Mata, Mkhitaryan, uh Martial got a first start and uh obviously Lukaku but Pogba had so many chances in the first half he, he looked so well he didn't look he literally came so close to scoring on numerous occasions but just couldn't find a goal uh the best two chances he had one was a lovely ball in from I think it was Martial and he's, he's stretching and it goes just wide and then there's another one where he, he pile drives it from like 35 yards and it goes inches wide um, but yeah in the second half as I say uh, we brought on Rashford from the bench and it's uh, <laughs> doesn't seem to matter which starts between Martial and Rashford the one who comes off the bench scores and it's Mkhitaryan with assist number five already in the third game of the Premier League with a corner. I think that was the first corner he took. Like, why is Daily Blaine taking our corners, man? He, he's shit at corners. But uh, we give it to Mkhitaryan this time. Ball floats in. Rashford unmarked. The one piece of uh, defending that uh, Leicester just didn't do very well and we capitalised on it. Rashford with a nice finish to make it 1-0. And then another substitute, Fellaini, comes on. Uh, and a, a third substitute, Lind Lingard, comes on. Lingard assists, Fellaini scores. It is offside. Uh, we had an offside goal in the first half as well, very narrowly offside uh, from Juan Mata after Lukaku rebounded shot. So we got a little bit of fortune there, but we were already 1-0 up uh, and we saw out the game 2-0. So even if that goal didn't count, we would have won 1-0. And, uh, yeah, it's not as though it won us any extra points. It just gave us an extra goal. And it was very tight uh, regardless. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Ten goals scored, three games, uh, three clean sheets. It, it's been great. It honestly has. And uh, a side note for FIFA 18, the first player of the month is either going to be Mkhitaryan, Pogba, Lukaku or Martial. Personally, I think it'll be Mkhitaryan for his five assists. Like, that's just crazy. Getting five assists in three games absolutely ludicrous i think he only got one last season in the premier league so uh yeah he's came on leaps and bounds he understands Mourinho. he understands what he wants he's doing what he did at borussia dortmund first season you know was a bit quiet second season explosive that's what he's been for us phenomenal and now we've got a shitty international break and let's hope once that's over you know hopefully we don't get any injuries for the you know the the core squad that we've got and uh, we can just continue this after the international break um of course, last season we did win all three of our first games. Uh, not anywhere near as convincingly, though. Uh, but still, you know, let's try and not let it get to our heads too much. I know I already have uh, in game one and two because the 4 0 wins. Uh, but it's early days, 35 games left. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm very happy. And uh, hopefully, as I say, we can just continue this and uh, perform like we have been because we've been utterly phenomenal so far.